Greetings, folks. Michael Rosso here, Film Photography Podcast. Today is exciting because Kodak just released their one-time-use Kodak Tri-X black-and-white camera. Of course, Kodak Tri-X is a very well-known black-and-white film. It comes in just about every format, 35mm, 120, 4x5. And probably around the world, the best-known black-and-white film. So this is a one-time-use camera, which means that you cannot reload it. You simply shoot your 27 exposures, and then you send the whole camera off to the lab. The lab will disassemble it, recycle the parts, develop your film, and send you back your negatives, prints, and or scans. Like most one-time use cameras, it has a flash where you press this button, and that will charge up the flash. It has the flash indicator lights on top, the uh, number of exposures, there's a counter here on top. Here is your shutter button, and this is your viewfinder on the back, and your film wind. And you will simply wind your film until it stops, take your picture. So when I see a camera like this, the first thing I think of are specs. You know, this is not something we need to really give much thought to, but I found no specs on the camera, and sadly, I found no specs on the box, which led me to go on the internet, and I was very thrilled to find an article by Popular Photography Online that they they just published a really awesome uh, article, Kodak's new disposable camera comes loaded with its iconic Tri-X black and white film. The camera comes with what you'd expect from a typical, they call it disposable. It has a F10 fixed focus lens and the shutter speed is fixed at 1 1 25th of a second and uh, with a built-in flash and that's all you really need to know about this camera our very own Leslie Lazenby shot some initial photographs with this camera before it was released as well as the darkroom.com's Trev Lee By the way, we do stock this in the filmphotographystore.com as well as the Kodak Fun Saver. That's the color version. As well as (laughs) then pick up a Kodak M35. Boss. This is, uh, you know, a very simple camera to use as well. There's a separate video. It's in the link down below. But this camera, you can easily reload with, with film when you're done shooting. See it. See you next time.